Greetings to you, my church family. I just wanted to check in with you here, a uh, little post-game report, some, some thoughts for the week, some things to just continue to study and immerse ourselves in the uh, book of Acts together. I'm standing here at the pulpit so you can kind of see, uh, see things from my vantage point. Uh, maybe if we had a bigger clock, I would know what time uh, it is to end or be able to see the clock so I could end at an appropriate uh, time. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we, we got to go into overtime, both services this last week. Uh, just immensely enjoyed the time in worship and prayer and uh, studying the Word of God uh, with you all. If you haven't checked out the sermon yet this week and, and uh, caught up on, on this Acts series, or if you're behind, catch up. Uh, spend some time studying and immersing ourselves in the book of Acts this last Last Sunday, we studied Acts chapter 16. It's next week, Acts 17. So for this week, uh, I encourage you to, to just immerse in Acts 16. Take a look at uh, what's written there. Uh, pay attention to things that are being said that are, that are heavy upon your heart as you read, uh, listening to uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit as we study the Word of God. Uh, as Acts 16 begins, uh, you see part, in part they're delivering uh, the news, the message of uh, what the council in Jerusalem there had declared. So in order to understand that better, we'll go ahead and read Acts 15 again, because that'll help us um, understand what was all being presented and talked about, and uh, and that'll cover the latter part of Acts 15 that we covered as well. So Acts 15, Acts 16, take a look at it again, spend some time uh, through, at least through Thursday, I really would encourage us just to keep reading it and reading it and reading it, and then, you know, around Friday, Saturday, uh, start start picking up uh, Acts 17, and, and in preparation uh, for Sunday, start taking some notes and just planning ahead and uh, seeing what's going on. seems like there's always something going on around here and things that are happening at this moment. I uh, don't know that you can hear the noise in the background. Pause a second if you can. Uh, but our men's and women's uh, bathrooms here uh, right outside the foyer are being repaired uh, or being completely gutted out and, and remodeled. Um, and so I, I don't know that those will be available by this Sunday. They might still be under construction. No worries. We got bathrooms cleared out in the hall at the end of the hallway or porta potties outside that the soccer club uses. So uh, this Saturday, keep in mind, is party in the park, 12 to 4. And uh, again, all hands on deck if you're available and just able to help out uh, with that in any way. We've got uh, Sunday night at the uh, pavilion. Uh, this Sunday night, it'll be the last one here. And then on the 22nd, that Sunday night, we're going to have our annual baptismal service and some more information will be coming about that. But if you're interested in it and participating, uh, let me know. So that being said, uh, again, check out check out Acts 16 and, and read it again. Uh, immerse ourselves in it. Acts 16, verse 25. Uh, here's Paul and here's Silas having been uh, beaten uh, with rods, the uh, feet fastened in the, in the stocks, and uh, we find them at about midnight, uh, not moaning and complaining and crying and cussing and fussing and all the negativity that's so easy for us to get caught up in. Rather, where we find them is praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And then we see the, 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 these miraculous movements through Acts 16 of, of the Spirit of God opening up the hearts of people, uh, miraculously, uh, mir miraculous events happening in the jail cell and, and causing people or the, the, uh, the Philippian jailer to ask this question, what must I do to be saved? Such a, such a critical question uh, for us in life and, and one that we as uh, who are living on mission for God need to know uh, how to answer and and to be equipped uh, from our practices and time spent in the Word of God. So my prayers for us as a church, prayers for you this week, uh, blessings to you as as you immerse uh, yourself in the Word of God, and I pray to create a, that time and take the time. Uh, so uh, I, I I see you, I, I know you, uh, I love you guys. Uh, my prayers are for each of you. I spend a lot of time around the sanctuary and just praying over these seats and and uh, praying for you uh, by name. So blessings to you this week. Uh, may God bless and, and guide you and guide us all as a church, empowered by his Holy Spirit to live on mission uh, for him this week and declaring the good news of Jesus Christ with everything that we say and do. Blessings to you. Uh, we'll see you here soon. God bless you.